Outrage as Israeli extremists offer cash for animal sacrifice at mosque, and not just any mosque, Al-Aqsa. The Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, considered one of the most religiously sensitive areas in the world, has once again become the center of controversy. An Israeli extremist group called Returning to the Mount Movement has sparked outrage by offering thousands of dollars to their followers who were arrested for attempting an incendiary animal sacrifice ritual at the mosque during Passover. This provocative move has further fueled tensions in East Jerusalem and the West Bank. The Al-Aqsa Mosque holds immense religious significance to Muslims around the world, and its location on the Temple Mount has long been a source of tension between Jews and Palestinians. While non-Muslims are allowed to visit the mosque, they cannot pray or perform rituals there due to an agreement with Jordan, the caretaker of Jerusalem's holy sites. But the returning to the Mount movement, notorious for its extremist views and calls to destroy the mosque, has shown a blatant disregard for this agreement and the sensitivities of the Muslim community. Their attempt to perform annual sacrifices at the mosque, despite a ban on such practice, is just the latest in a string of provocations that has incited violence and tension in the Middle East. So this happened, and then... A few days ago, on the 5th of April, I think it was, then the Israeli authorities um, had a raid and assaulted a bunch of people during prayers at Al-Aqsa, like in the beginning of Ramadan. And it's caused, I mean, a huge fallout, Armin. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming you've been paying attention to what's been going on in Israel right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all, all over the news. But yeah. th I didn't see this detail, but that yeah. whole thing, yeah, of course. Yeah, and now there are rockets right. firing and all sorts of, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Um, so can you explain, if, for people who don't understand what the background and significance of this is, why would a Jewish ritual in this space be so incendiary? Well, the background goes thousands and thousands of years, right? So yes. this was a... <laughs> This is the temple of the uh, Jewish people destroyed by uh, the Romans uh, 2,000 years ago. And one of the most important, important rituals back then by Jewish people was animal sacrifice at the temple, right? There was probably no other, you know, I would say it's high up there if it's, if it's, I could say I, I think it's the most it was their most important ritual to sacrifice animals at the temple. Right? Yes, this was re eventually when the temple was destroyed. This was replaced by other rituals like reading the Torah and going like this, right? But had, they had to come up with alternatives. One of the, one of the reasons why they couldn't sacrifice one of the sects that came out of you not being able to sacrifice animals at the temple uh, was this uh, small little sect that you might have heard of called Christianity, right? Which is was the whole idea of like, okay, let's just sacrifice this dude, um, and then that would be the end of all sacrifices, right? So this whole not being able to sacrifice thing um, was one of the reasons why we have another religion now. But so this is like being able to have the sacrifice there, would be the reclaiming of something that is 2000 years old right that would be very historically significant but it will also be um doing a jewish sacrifice at the place where muhammad supposedly had gone to heaven you know what i mean the mirage so this is the the third most holiest place for muslims um so you doing a jewish sacrifice there i can't imagine the, there are a few things that are more sacrilege sacrilege than this you know this honestly like, you're right the the, the 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 height of like blasphemy like it doesn't get any worse than this so at one point it would be very significant for one side and from the other side they're like and i think this is why they they want to do this this is like the people who do things like this they want attention they know how sensitive this is it's not a disregard for the, the other people's sensitivity, it's actually completely understanding it. And that's why they want to poke it. <laughs> These people want that tension. <laughs> so it's not You're like, right. Well, You're right. Yeah. <laughs> but because the, the more the 
See, so here's what is you should be why you should be very afraid of um, evangelical Christians and Orthodox Jewish people. Many of them, not all of them. Okay, is that they um, their understanding of what how the world will become a better place the what the the barrier between the world that they are looking for and where we are at right now is the existence of the dome of the rock on top of the temple right and there is no way to remove that peacefully right no so, no yeah. so they their understanding is that for that dome of the rock to be destroyed at some point so that they could rebuild the temple you require tension you require chaos right and that's why we have this is why u.s politics could sometimes be so destructive because christian evangelicals they vote they vote a lot and these orthodox jewish people vote as well and then now you have the politics the foreign policies of israel and united states being influenced by a huge portion of the population who are looking for tension for increased tension because they understand that there needs to be a conflict for this thing to be removed from there. So imagine a whole big voter base that war, they're like, oh, yay, war, like anything. Like, I don't, like, other people who want war, they want, they want something that is targeted for a purpose, right? Like, even Putin with his, that went crazy when he wants war, he's like, I have a mission. These are people who like, yay, destruction, yay, war, because more war in that area mean, might mean that this dome is going to be ruined at, at that point. Now imagine that mentality of wanting more war uh, and it's voting. That's why yeah. re- that, that's how religion is really screwing up with foreign policies of these two countries, which is it's really making it. an accelerationist situation. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. So. So what, so yeah, that kind of explains like why this kind of action manifests and why it it's like so extreme in the way that it is. But what do you think, I mean, this is a little bit more geopolitical, but what do you think about the fallout from the attack on Al-Aqsa that happened? Because well, it's been huge. Weren't rockets fired from Lebanon for the first time in decades? Yeah. Yeah, and nobody knows uh, who the hell it was because uh, they they attacked in response. Israel is attacking Hamas and parts of Lebanon, but Hamas is not in Lebanon. Hamas is in Gaza, right? So, and um, Hezbollah came and said that this wasn't us, <laughs> okay? And it seems like Israel is believing them at this time, you know? So Interesting. They're like, yeah, so they're like... Maybe there was just a little, little rogue militia little rogue hezbollah militia that happens yeah i don't know yeah i mean there are some new groups with new brands there so it's everything is not hezbollah anymore but um a lot of lebanese people are now criticizing are making fun of hezbollah because they were like you know because they're like this wasn't us it seems like they're they're come they don't even you know they seem like not wanting tension you know they seem afraid of israel they're like, we don't want any conflict with Israel right now. So they're like, um, and also a lot of people criticize that. Hezbollah, what happened? What happened to the base in your chest, huh? huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it wasn't us. It wasn't us. Um, but also a lot of people think that whoever doing the attack, um, there's different theories about it, different viewpoints. Okay. So some people say, like, why would you attack um Israel right now? This is exactly what Netanyahu needs. Right, they're destroying themselves. They're divided, and you're just giving them an excuse to be united again. Because whenever uh, there's an attack on Israel, all sides come to get together and get united. It saved Netanyahu's government last time, like two years yeah. ago. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So pe- some people are saying, like, oh, they're attacking because they're see- Israel's turmoil right now is providing them an opportunity to attack because they're like, oh, Israel is weak right now. This is when you attack. But that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, they're weak right now, but your attack will make them stronger. So why would you give them that? Which is yeah. When you Damn. they say they they say when your enemy is destroying itself, don't interrupt them. That's what they say in war. So and this is an interruption. <laughs> Step aside. They're doing all the hard work for us. 
Yeah, but that I'm not I'm not saying Israel is doing that. I'm just saying this is other people's yeah. analysis of all this. It's really difficult. Oh, secular I've... Sekai just said up. Yeah, go on. No, you go first. Secular Sekai just uh, celebrated his one year membership. That's one awesome. Year membership. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, and send a message on FB. I, I'm not seeing that message. Did you get it? It's, he probably is talking to me. Um, okay. And the answer is yes, I'm getting back to you soon. I haven't been feeling good recently, health problems. Mm. Um, but it's on my to do list. Um, mm. There was something else I wanted to say. Oh, would I, I've come to the cynical position that I don't think the Israel and Palestine situation will ever be resolved because too many people benefit from it being as brutal and painful as it is. Hmm. Ever? And I don't, I don't, and I don't see much changing. Well, I mean, everything comes to an end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, okay, true. You, do you, Armin, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you're you're right though. It doesn't right now where we're standing, that there doesn't there doesn't seem to be an end to this. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. But yeah, but I can't even. I can't. I can't imagine things staying like this forever as well. I can't imagine it, that it's ending, like and I can't imagine impossible, that. right? But I don't see yeah. any signs of improvement. It's impossible. I can for see. Okay, I can see an end. I can see an end to all of this, actually. Huh? I can see. I can oh, see no. things getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see. I can see genocide and uh, a bloodbath, and I can see the whole thing coming to an end like that. That I could see, right? Because of the nature of the demographics in Israel changing, um, so there's that. But okay, I'm, I hope I'm wrong. Anyways, it's a sensitive yeah. time. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary. Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.